Alright. Well, that's not supposed to be doing that. I don't like that. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. That shows you how much torque this engine has. It's stupid. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to DF's Lego stuff and stuff. I haven't posted a long farm video in quite a while. Uh, so it's time I did. And today we're gonna look at my SCV inline 4 um, with my 10 speed transmission. Um, so let's lube it up here so that we don't scratch our pieces up like that one. I went ahead and swapped in a clear cylinder wall there because I went to purchase some minifigs recently and I got another one. So now I have four. Well, uh, let's throw these heads back on. Um, let's see here. Oh gosh, it's gonna take a while. Let's try this. All right, so uh, if you haven't seen my shorts of this engine, I have made some modifications since the last video. Um, first thing I did was the manifold um, before had a four stud by one brick tall opening and I made it twice as tall so now it flows a lot better and goes a lot faster. Well after that the valves kept breaking and so I hot glued them together. I took them out and I hot glued every single brick together and also these pieces that the rockers pivot inside of I kept popping out so I put these panel pieces here um, going from these pieces to the cylinder block and that holds them on and then to hold everything together, just so it doesn't blow the whole block off, um, I put these supports here. So, yeah, as you'll see, it's a whole lot faster than the last video. Um, anyway, let's talk about this transmission, because this is what's really new. Um, honestly... There hasn't been much testing of this transmission. I decided to just go ahead and make this video and we'll see what happens. Um, I have um, made some improvements since I first built it. Um, if you've seen my shorts on this, then... Well... I posted two shorts in this. And... Both of them... It... Had a problem, so... We'll see what happens this time. Um, I have this gear here now, so that that can't skip as much, but it still does. Anyway, I'm just kind of blabbering, because I didn't really have a, any kind of a plan for this video. Um, I suppose I better tell you what the heck this transmission is. This is a 10-speed twin-stick splitter transmission. This is kind of like a flimsier version of my 8-speed with more speeds. Um, and the reason it's flimsier is I didn't have a whole lot of pieces at my disposal when I built it. Um, I, I just did it for fun. But, uh, I'll link the video to the 8-speed in the description. Uh, that, that is actually my most viewed video by at least 
uh, probably 15, uh, no, like 25,000 more views than any of my other videos have. Um, anyway, like I said, it's a 10 speed twin stick transmission, and like my 4 speed, we basically have a sequential transmission, and then we have a splitter to split each gear into two different ratios. So in this case, it's a five-speed sequential transmission, of course. Um, we have a three-to-one ratio there, and then 1.66-to-one ratio there, one-to-one ratio there, one to one point six six ratio there, and then one to three ratio there, and um, because I have this massively torquey engine here to run it, I can have gears that are this ridiculously tall. Uh, the engine doesn't spin very fast, but it will it will spin it even at idle, and then. Um, I put this gear in here to keep these two from skipping a little bit because these really like to skip. Even after that I had to put that in there too and it still skips. Um, I decided to use that gear to transmit power out of this shaft into the splitter. And also, as you can see, I put that in there to keep yours from splitting too. I mean, I mean, uh, well, yeah, it has split gears, but that is not what I meant to say. Um, to, pre to, pre to, pre to prevent gears from s skipping, I put that in there. Anyway, power goes from this shaft to the splitter, and that there we got a 20 tooth gear going to 16 tooth gear that's a 4 to 5 ratio and then that's a 5 to 4 ratio so it's a wider ratio uh, splitter than my 8 speed but it's still a pretty small difference in ratios and then that comes up to a 40 tooth gear driving a 24 tooth gear um, which makes this spin really fast and it kind of, uh, whoa, kind of simulates a vehicle a little bit. Well, this video is going kind of chaotically, uh, cause like I said, I had no plan for it. I just, uh, grabbed the camera and started talking cause I wanted to get this video out. So let's put it back together and, uh, see what the heck is going to happen. And oh yeah, this is the crank also that this engine broke. And it was running on two cylinders. Two of this, half the crankshaft was spinning and half of it wasn't. Anyway, let's stop getting sidetracked and run this stamp thing. All right, let's see what's gonna happen. I have no idea. I haven't even tested this hardly uh, before I Turned on the camera at least. We're just gonna have some fun. What's going on? It's not working. Oh, oh no. I put in that new cylinder wall and it's locked up. Engine isn't, isn't spinning anymore. Oh no. Oh no. It's crying out now. Where is it stuck? It's stuck right there. I think no. Oh! That valve is stuck under. There we go.
All right, well, I don't know where that one by three brick went. We'll just pretend it's still there. Uh, I realized that U joint split on this side of it too. Uh, yeah, these friggin' U joints keep splitting. <laughs> I really should just put uh, these round bricks on either side of all of them. But that didn't occur to me just until just now. But yeah, if they split, that's what you can do to hold them together. Or you do that so they don't split. Alright, well, let's uh, try and run this transmission here. Let's see, first gear, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. I just swear I would have said and eighth at the la on the last transmission, but that's not all, that's not all there is on this one. Oh no, we're in, we're not in 8th, 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 8th. Come on. There's 8th. No, there isn't 8th. Oh my goodness. Yeah, see what I mean? I told you we were going to have some problems. I think I did. Let's put some toilet paper in there. Alright, put a half bush in between the gears on the splitter here, so hopefully they'll, uh, this one will stay engaged. Sorry, I know this is going to be a long ass video. Alright, that's second. Starting first. First. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Yeah, this splitter is working much better. Seventh. Eighth. Chittery chattery. Night. Whoa. That's not supposed to be doing that. I don't like that. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That shows you how much torque this engine has. It's stupid. Let's take this extra bit of flywheel off of here and see if that works better. All right, take 16,322,456,221. Look at that. It starts in ninth gear. I can feel the breeze from the flywheel all the way over here. That sucker's spinning fast. Well, now what? You can't win. These pins ought to do it.
nice and cool. She's moving now. I don't know if you can hear me. Okay, you can see all four pistons now. Let's get a view of the other side. There's the rockers. Look at that thing. This engine has so much torque. None of my other engines would have been able to spin that wheel that freaking fast. Well, let's see if we can uh, go from first to tenth this time. Sounds so good. This video is probably going to be like 20 minutes long. You know, if we get from 1st to 10th and then from 10th back down to 1st, I'll end the video there. Let's see if we have success. There's 10th. We made it. I think so. That thing's chugging away. Let's see. Uh, I don't think we're going to have as much success downshifting. It might help if I let go of the throttle, huh? I don't know. It sounds so mean. Listen to that thing. I love it. Uh, I don't know. If I if I'm able to do it do better than that, I'll post a short. All right, so we're coming up on 500 subs here on DF Lego stuff and stuff. Um, and when I hit 500 subs, I'm gonna build a V10. So I gotta take the SCV in line four apart, unfortunately, so that I can build this. Stay tuned.